What's going on everybody? Today we've got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2024 OTV Open Paradox. This is in the Proton Soft Plastic from Axiom. This thing is super pretty and it's supposed to be their really, really understable mid-range, even more understable than the uplink. The numbers on it are a 5-4, negative 4-0. This is like the first understable disc I've ever picked up or thrown that actually has less glide than what you would think. And people are throwing discs at me right now. So I feel like typically when you have an understable disc, the glide is usually more. They usually bump it up from a five to a six. But I believe this thing is so flippy that they actually give it less glide because it just wants to hit the ground, but to the right. So I brought the lobster out here to compare with, but I already know that this thing is way flippier than the lobster. So we're gonna give them some throws out there. A little bit of tailwind today to help stable it out. We'll throw the lobster first to show you guys the uh, understable mid that I bagged currently. We've got a decent tailwind today. Nice little flip up to flat and a good fade. Again, good bit of tailwind today. You can probably hear it. So that disc is gonna be, it's gonna kind of look like a hex really, but this Paradox should flip all the way over. Yeah, look at that. Flip up, kind of still went straight. Nice little fade to it, but you could definitely see the understability there. A lot more so than the lobster. Rodney's gonna throw his real quick, show you guys how it's flying for him. Rodney rips. Nice little pop up, drift to the right. Stability gets a gets gets some stability in the tailwind. It's really fun to throw in the tailwind. So this is where I'd probably trust the lobster just a little bit more on that Heiser uh, turnover shot because I know that the lobster is going to turn over in this little bit of headwind. Not sure what this is going to do. This might actually end up being a roller. Let's we'll see the lobster right here. We're going to throw it and try to drift it kind of into the trees over there. See, it doesn't dump over though. It actually is a nice, nice turnover. Now this Paradox being a little bit more flippy, might end up being a roller. <laughs> Let's put it on some more hyzer. A little height. Oh, look at that drift. Kind of just stalled that one a little bit, but I mean, even on a little nose up, it still does drift to the right. Let's see if Rodney can do a little better than me. <laughs> There's, uh, I mean, I feel like you barely threw that. Wow, great roller up the tree though. All right, we're gonna show you how they throw in a few holes out here. Some real world examples. Let's get it. Ex examples. Oh, it's too flippy. <laughs> That's still not a bad shot over there. It's just a little to the right. Oh, that's not gonna flip nearly enough. It, it was still really cool though. Yeah. You may have seen Paige Pierce throw the sole on this hole uh, on her Instagram. So we're gonna throw the Paradox with that turnover. It's like 150 feet down to the right. Oh, it's too low, but that's a good shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so flippy. Oh, it's so flippy. Look, it's just to the right of the basket, but it's still down there. It's a good shot. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this review of the Paradox. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing it on a few holes out here. It's a really fun mid-range throw, super easy turnovers. It really kind of flies like a putter almost because it's so easy to get some turn on it. Unlike the lobster, sometimes I can't quite get it to turn unless you throw it full power. But uh, yeah, super fun disc to throw. Going to probably be bagging it for a little while and testing it out. Um, yeah, go give it a shot. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Here we go. <laughs> okay. You know you want it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was the best one yet.